Hello, my name is Govan Bailey. I'm the Bader Chair in Southern Baroque Art at Queen's University in Kingston in Canada. Uh, I work a lot on uh, Jesuit art and uh, have specialized in particular on the early period of the decoration of the Jesu and uh, particularly the painted decorations and the stuccos and the marble uh, that you see in the side chapels. But this man here, John Paolo Oliva, jo uh, Giovanni Battista Oliva, was um, in many ways the second most important um, uh, patron of the Jesu after its original patron who was Alessandro Farnese, who was a very important cardinal, grandson of Pope Paul III. Uh, Oliva was a world famous uh, preacher. He was extraordinarily interested um, in the visual arts and he used art in his preaching uh, as a way of making references to various themes as he was, that he was talking about. And his interest in the arts went beyond just metaphor. He also was very interested in art patronage. At this time, in the middle of the uh, 17th century, the Jesu is still mostly unfinished, the, the decoration. Uh, inside, uh, the side chapels that I just talked about, which have been painted mostly in the 1580s and 90s, uh, and a bit of the, or the dome and the pen, pendentives around the dome, they had been finished for a long time. But for decades, the entire vault and the apse and the, the ceilings of the transepts were unpainted. And so Oliva, he was very good, uh, he had very well connected. And one of his connections was with Bernini. They were very close friends. In fact, I like to think of it as a mutual admiration society. Bernini loved uh, Oliva's preaching and Oliva loved Bernini's art. And he sort of got Bernini involved uh, uh, as a, um, a project manager, in a sense, to get together this new phase of decoration in the 1670s. Um, and he did it through, not directly, Bernini did not contri contribute anything directly to this period, but through his pupil, um, Baciccio, who painted these fantastic frescoes of which we have in this uh, exhibition, a number of bozzetti, which is what we call an oil sketch. Uh, and uh, by bringing Bernini on board, Bernini made sure that, that uh, Baciccio, whose real name was Gaoli, uh, worked within the style that, that Oliva was aiming at, which is very much a Bernini style, but he also gave him the best job of his career, and it really made his career. And it was through Baciccio that the rest of the church was finished. So uh, in the late 1670s, uh, the church finally reached the stage that they would hope for almost a century before, where the entire interior was decorated. And this was a great moment. And we really have Oliva to thank for that, um, much in the same way that we have uh, Alessandro Farnese to thank for the first phase um, and for the Jesu itself, the building, uh, back in the uh, late uh, 16th century.